Hi friends and welcome to my channel. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you so much for all your support because you keep this channel going. And with your support, I want to continue with Daniel Pintado Game Development Studio to help small developers to create their game in the easiest and cheapest way possible, helping to provide you with assets, animation, blueprint, and also my personal help absolutely for free. Also how to get grants from, for example, Epic and Kickstarter or even how to publish your game in different platforms like Steam, Epic, etc. And you will not have to give me credit, commission or anything. So there will be some guidelines to follow for the order or the project to help. You only have to enter to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel and in the upper right corner and click in the link. Or in the description of this video you will have the link. At the end of this page, you will have questions and answers already answered by me about the YouTube channel and the project, and I will be updating this page with new and content, so stay tuned. So if you want to help me with this project, you only have to enter in my coffee page and donate the amount you want, or you can be a member for exclusive content and support. You can also hire me as a freelancer to advance more faster or if you want I can create a complete game for you. I will be updating this membership with new exclusive content and more stuff. And if you want to talk with me directly, you can go to my Discord channel. So if you need help in your project, or maybe you need help in the tutorial, or the tutorial is not working for you, or you have a request video or something, you can talk with me in the Discord. So thank you for watching, and let's start the tutorial. Hey friends, uh, welcome to my channel. So I am here again with a new tutorial. There's a request video they ask me a lot to do this. is how to make the idle animation they can be uh, calling another animations to be playing randomly. For example, if you are hugging a gun, if you're not doing absolutely nothing with the uh, character, you want to, for a second or two or whatever, they play another animation to look in like a more realistic way to see in the, in the games. So before the title tutorial, I want to say really, really thank you for all your support because it's amazing support and having right now so I really appreciate that so that is a, a way to I uh, say thank you so I want to start doing again um, more tutorial more continuing so I hope you like it so let's start the tutorial so first we have the, the third person template I have the normal template I only change the color on it <laughs> you can do whatever you want so I want for example if I stop in here I wait I don't know uh, 10 seconds or whatever, I want to play another animation because the, nobody in the real life they're gonna stay still all this animation, the same animation all the time. So let's do that. So let's close here. So we need to go to the third person um, folder, go to blueprints and let's open this guy because I don't know where the animations are. So let's go to mesh and go to anim class. Let's go to ABP. Queen C. So let's go here to find it. <clears throat> uh, we have it right here. I don't want to use Queen. I want to use Mini because it's the real apparent. If you go here, you can see it's not. It's a child. So let's go open this guy. So let's put this in here. Also, let's switch these guys. Um, there's person blueprint third person character mess uh, let's change this to many because it's the main one I don't want to use child in the world. later they're gonna be a messed up so it's better don't use that okay so let's go to this guy so we want to so when they play this animation they call another one so for doing that we need to go to the animation so let's find where the animation are I think it's here so we have all these animations. Uh, I don't have more animations, so I wanna create it right here. So we have idle, so that is the one we have. So let's go to right click, let's go to create, or we can duplicate. So let's duplicate, we have another one. So in this one, we want to change this animation. So we want to go to several. And from here, I wanna do 
we want to do something simple. So let's go press the, this guy. Go key, save it. And let's set the right here. We want to have this guy to put the hand like that. So let's key again, save it. So now we can see the, the curve right here in the animation. Also, let's play a little way. A little more, a little more. Maybe right here, I want to let this guy get down. So let's do down again. And let's go key and save. So now you can see the curve right here. Okay, so if we go play, we can see they do this simple animation, the up and down. So we want to play this animation. You can do whatever animation you want, but that is the best. Uh, if it's the best way to do it, your own animations. So let's close this. So let's close this. We don't need it. So in here, we want to call them from here. How to switch animation? So we're going to need to go to Iron. So we have the Iron animation. I want, for example, when they go like here, you can see that we go around six seconds. So let's do like five seconds maybe so let's go to five something like that i don't need to be exactly so in here we want to create a notify so let's go right click go to add notify we want to add a new one because we don't have it so let's go to new notify and let's call this i don't know the star i know oh, you can call it like you like it so that's gonna mean they call in here so if you go play for example from here when they go here they're gonna call this okay so let's stop this uh, let's save it close this one so in here animation blueprint we need to call it from here so let's go uh, so this blank space space so right click and you want to set a start io so we have in here event anim notify star io so let's play it here so every time they call the um, uh, the io they want to call this one start idle so we want to do something here so we want to activate something to do it in the, and in graph so for doing that so it's gonna be here so we want to create a new variable we want to here then we're gonna call this multi idle I don't know you can call it like you like it and use a boolean to say to yes or not so uh, true or false so let's go here so let's go set. So if we wait like five seconds or roundly, we want to call this guy. So let's go like here and let's say true. Okay, so compile and save. So to make this to appear, we want to go to AniGraph, go in here, go on our uh, locomotion. So we have it here. So from here, we want to only from iron, we don't want to do it in the bottom round. So let's go like here. New add state. I'm gonna call this multi idle. So we have this here. So we want to, when we go here, we want to call this guy multi idle. So let's connect this, compile, save. You can see it right away. They start. Also, when they go down, we want to do it opposite. So it's gonna be multi idle get they go to not boolean uh, so a uh, guy asked me why use not we we can use another thing yes we can do whatever we want we only need a boolean the reverse they do it in before so before you said this is true so only i need to know in here that d is false so for doing that we can do not so they're gonna be false or we can use for example use uh, equal Go to this is equal to false, so we want to go here. It's the same thing, but I like to use not, but you can do whatever you like. Uh, Unreal, you can do whatever you want, almost a lot of different ways, so you, it's a really uh, great doing that. So I use this one, so let's go like that. So when we go here, we want to play the idle we created, so it's gonna be idle one. So let's go like here, go this with this. Go compile and say you can see right away they start doing it okay so now so we want to go play
play and check how we're going. So we went to five seconds. And they support to do it like that. That's great. So now we have the activate. You can see they do that one. So we can run away, but they don't do it nothing again. So that is why because we activate but not disactivate. So for doing that, let's go to idle one and here when they go all the way down. So let's say around here. Let's go right click, go to add notify. <coughs> Wanna see a new one again, but this time we're gonna call it in idle. So enter so we have an idle. So let's save. We don't need this anymore. So in here, an event graph, we want to call our in idle. So from here, we want to call our multi idle. It's gonna go to go false again. So let's compile and save and let's go play. So let's check it out. So now, when we wait five seconds, they go up. Uh, let's go down. So when they go down, they actually go stop. So we're going to move again. But what happens if we are waiting here? They start the animation like that one. If we go play, you have this problem here. So we can do it this two, two different ways. Maybe you want to play the animation, the up and down the uh, arm while your player are running so if you want to do that you only need to use this idle and convert this to a montage because montage use uh like when we create it so let's go montage so if you have a montage you have here the full slot so you can divi uh, divide this stuff so you can create a slot to separate to the uh, bottom body and the up body so that means you can blend two animations together. But normally in the games, when you are uh, playing it, you don't want to do more anymore the, uh, the, this new idol. So to stop in that, you only need to go to many, go in here because this is calling all the time. So we want to go to where the speed is. So it's gonna be here, ground speed. So we want to set if D is greater, for example, I don't know, if you remember, the speed of the player is, uh, where we go, so third person, blueprints, here, the speed of this guy, they said max wall speed, is 600, yes, it's right here, 600, what, okay, let's find it. Uh, oh my god, I lose it. Where? It's supposed to be here. Okay. Uh, let's do it more slow. <laughs> slow here. So let's go. Oh, we're here. <laughs> Max wall speed is 500, not 600. My bad. So it's 500. But I don't want to do 500. That's, that's too crazy. So any between the idle, they mean zero. So we want to something between zero and 500. So it's better to have some movement before. So to check in this. So for example, let's go on branch. So that's true. So a good number is gonna be maybe 10, something like that, or even less if you want, for example, five. So let's put five maybe. So they can have a, a room to do that. So if it is true, so we are making five more than five so we are six seven uh, five hundred so we want to stop doing multi idle so let's set call it here go compile save go play and again now we want to wait to the animation when they start if i go play automatically stop doing that also this is working with our, our rigging so that's great so if we run it here we can see this guy is still working perfectly but if you don't using this um, uh, control ring you don't use it, uh, another stuff you have to use here like i said before uh, 
montage because the montage automatically bling whatever you want so that's if you want it in this case you don't need it because on Unreal Engine 5 already have this uh, uh, control ring so that's why we don't need to do that so also automatically separate the legs well, whatever they're doing in the body in the top body so that's gonna be it so if you want to support me you can go to my uh, coffee page and also you can subscribe so you can have exclusive stuff um, and also if you want to talk with me directly or you have problems in the tutorial or something like that you can uh, write me in the discord for me it's more easy to respond from the discord than respond for the comments of youtube so like i said thank you for watching i see you in the next um, tutorial so bye bye